listen to Brainers, welcome to the Geek Chest. My name's Steven. We got a, a beauty for you guys today for this uh, sort of how-to. Uh, this is what we have here is a commission that I did for uh, Lady Draco, which is a Shin Konzilla. She was the same person that got a hold of the original Konzilla that I did. <laughs> she was the one that acquired about that. And then she wanted to do a step it up a bit but anyways didn't have much in terms of uh filming for this one and what i did but i do have progress shots from start to finish so we'll discuss those real quick and then we'll get into looking at finer details all right so first and foremost uh initially when figure out these guys we try to plot out exactly what we want to do initially with some of the placement and you can see here we're trying to sort of figure out what we were going to do with the hands between putting them on the chest, sort of alien queenie, or on the shoulder pads. Uh, finally ended up deciding to put it on the tip of the tail, which was definitely a good call. It gives him a, a little bit more of a terrifying look. And added some articulation. So he's got a little hinge joint for his neck and some ball joints for the arms so that it can rotate and articulate. And then for the mouth, we had to slice it open, which is odd because Khan has gums. I didn't think Khan had inner gums in between his lips, but he does. And then we cut them in half, split them apart, and then added some uh, paper clips is what I usually use. I drilled them out, stuck them in between the joints, and attached the jaw and got it set up initially how I wanted to. Got my spacing correct. And here's a shot of just the overall figure kind of set up in how it's going to generally look. And then I started flushing out all the bits that we we're going to add clay to. So for the inside of the mouth, added some tin foil. For the chest piece, added some tin foil. And then some extra wire sticking out of the body so that the epoxy putty has something to grip onto. Same with the uh, elbow pads and shoulders. Added some wires there too. And then the fun part, doing all the sculpting, which I used epoxy putty. Uh, Ave epoxies, if you guys want to know the specifics. But meticulously carved out the chest piece. The mouth had to do, majority of the lower section of the jaw had to be all redone, the front of the chest. The stomach section mainly had to be fleshed out just so that it looked thicker with the calm body on it. Because initially it definitely looked way too thin with the way the body was set up originally, which is not quite something it wanted to do. And then also added the elbowing to the arms. I also just want to point out that I wanted to give the figure legit googly eyes, but she told me no. And then I also gave her a more updated look with better googly eyes, but still told no. So once everything was done, uh, finally finished up the shoulder pads, which turned out really good, surprisingly. Wanted to make them kind of look not quite Shin Godzilla, had him a little bit more like armor. So that's why the eyes are, the pupils are sunken in to the body. Uh, kind of want to make it look like he's growing armor out of his shoulders, but they are definitely more akin to Shin. And then once everything initially cured, I had to go back through and redo some of the epoxy sections to add hair, which makes it look a little bit more organic with the parts coming out of it. Because again, wanted to make it look like all these things are protruding out of Khan, not really like it's attached. And then in the middle of that process, we decided to make beams for it because... What's a Shin Godzilla without back lasers? So I went on to Blender, sculpted some uh, beams that were a little bit more Shin-like than what I previously have set up for sale. And printed off eight of them, added some wire armatures so that they have some way to attach, drilled a couple of holes. And now he's got lasers and lasers for days. And then finally, it was just adding all the details and highlights. So painting the eyes silver because in the movie he has that protective film that goes over his eyes when it starts shooting lasers, all these Shin does. So they wanted to make sure Khan had the same thing. Repainting the beams because they came out way more red than I wanted to. Because who knew red and blue resin makes red resin? So had to make them more whites and pinks and purples than what originally it was. So they're not quite translucent the way I wanted them to, but beggars can't be choosers. And then it's highlighting the skin to make it look more like the NECA. So doing a lot of black dry brushing and then just detailing the rest of them paint job for the mouths and the claws and that's where we land on to this beauty here fully done and sealed so again all the lasers are hooked into armatures on the back here so they're just drilled in so these just come right out also that arm the, but thankfully i'm not too worried about the arms breaking because they pop off pretty easy but again con has eight beams in total 
all 3D printed from resin. You guys can see the detailing on them. Turned out really good. Maybe could have been a little bit thinner in hindsight, but I was worried that when printing them, they would uh, have way more issues the more I had to print them because uh, for the length, I have to print them upright, which is terrifying because <laughs> any kind of shifting whatsoever is going to mess up the print job. So I had to add some extra supports that I don't normally do. But in the long run, worked out really good. Uh, for the extra parts for Kong, you'll notice that it came with an extra head and hands. I left those alone. So if you wanted, you could have base head on here initially. Kind of like your regular Shin Kong look. And then if you want to have it with the beams, then the mouth would expand, the eyes would roll back, and that's why you'd have this look here in particular. And then clench fist or just clench fist. Actually, you know what would be kind of cool is actually flipping these upside down and making it look like the head was going to eventually kind of form over cons. Well, <laughs> we're here now. I still think it looks neat. Somebody did mention that it kind of is reminiscent of the Saiyan armor, and I, I, I like that idea. It's just, again, like he's growing shin armor out of his body. But you guys can see for the finer details, here is the sculpted heads. Again, under section. I didn't add teeth because I was worried that when articulating the arms, because I wanted to keep them posable, that the teeth would snap off. So we decided to leave the teeth off. So he's got a bit more of a gummy appearance. Also did the heads a little bit differently for each side like you can see especially looking at the top like this one's almost kind of raising its eyebrow and looking out well this one's a little bit more straightforward shin looking but the front of the face has a little bit more of like that snarl going on on this side and then for the back spines i think we blended them pretty well with the hair on the back hiding the <laughs> attached uh, neck of Shin Godzilla spines here. Uh, same with on the neck here too. I had to resculpt part of it because this entire section had to be all redone. So this is all epoxy puttied up here as well. And I tried to match the fur detailing as best I could. Same with on the side of the mouth here. You can still kind of see essentially where I had to attach it, but I think it blends pretty nicely overall. And then the way the jaw will lips expand out same with on the under section of the mouth here too kept the teeth relatively the same just kept them covered up because it's supposed to look like it's illuminating and again this ball joint pops off real easy there we go and then here are the elbows that I also had to attach again added the fur over top just so that you can see makes it look more natural that it's sticking out and pushing the fur back then uh it just resting on top and calling it a day then stomach section where i added some of the epoxy around just to expand that out a little bit more and then the coup de gras the tail which just like i mentioned is posable so godzilla's head can look around it can rotate and then for the arms you get a little bit of motion you can see here there's a little ball joint so a lot of it's mainly gonna be a rotation you'll get out of it but you get a little bit of a wiggle out of it and then these can still move around too so you get a little bit more play with it so you can have it kind of look like Shin Godzilla is getting ready to attack something out of here but overall super pleased with it looks terrifying kind of it was like Shin Godzilla met the thing baby <laughs> combined with the giant gorilla and yeah this thing is awesome also I just want to point out that we shared this on Instagram and Rebor uh, actually liked the figure <laughs> I was pretty excited for that they need to get a hold of me for a job I'd appreciate it <laughs> but anyways that's pretty much it for this video but anyways let us know in the comment section below what you guys think of Shin Kong do you think he is the creepiest thing ever or does Steve just really need to stop tearing apart toys let us know down there and help us defeat those cages by hitting that like button also help support the channel for free subscribe become a ranger today also got patreon Pinterest, instagram and facebook guys like to keep up to date with the channel and also could donate through patreon greatly appreciate it we'll see you guys in the next video Bye-bye.